Edinburgh's College. So it's always fun and interactive, and I also love using the iPad. Throughout Junior Cycle, we cover many different aspects like personal finance, enterprise, and the economy. Throughout strand one, the students will look at personal finance. Throughout this strand, they'll be able to develop a lot of key skills that will help them throughout life. They'll be able to di differentiate between their needs and wants. They'll be able to identify sources of income and expenditure. They will also be able to look at taxes and insurance and be able to look at different ways of saving and borrowing from different financial institutions. They will also be able to distinguish between their rights and responsibilities and consumers. And they will also look at how to be more ethical and sustainable consumers. We will also look at globalisation and how developments in technology impact on consumer choice and behaviour. They will also be able to interpret wage slips and complete budgets and analyse cash books. In the following videos, the TYs have conducted a small role play to show, to display what they've learned throughout this section. which are really useful in everyday life. We learned all about the differences between our needs and wants and some great mini saving tips to help in day-to-day -day management of expenses. Here I completed a cash book for August as I wanted to buy a phone cover and had to save up as it was not an essential need. When I bought the phone cover with my savings, I discovered it was faulty. Luckily, due to my studies in school about consumer rights, I could refer back to the Sale of Goods and Supplies Act of 1980 and contact the appropriate consumer support agencies so I knew my rights and that I was entitled to a refund, repair, or replacement. We did, we did role plays during this chapter, and that helped me remember the different rights consumers have in these situations. In Strand 2, students will look at enterprise. They will be able to identify the different types of enterprises, for example, financial, social, cultural, they will also be able to identify the skills and characteristics related to being an entrepreneur. They will also be able to look at the world of work and the different types of work, of employment, volunteerism in the world today. They will also be able to distinguish between the rights and responsibilities of employer and employees from a legal, social, environmental and ethical perspective and also investigate the positive and negative impacts on a community of an organisation from the same perspectives. They will also discuss the impact of digital technologies on an organisation, which is especially relevant in today's modern world. They will also look at marketing, which is a very fun section, and we've got many different projects that can take place here. They can conduct market research in order to investigate an entrepreneurial opportunity. They can devise and apply a marketing mix in order to promote a new or existing product or service, and develop business plans. We will also look at business documents in this section. Now I've got a student talking about what the entrepreneurial project that they completed in first year, as well as video examples. Throughout our studies, we had the opportunity to develop our teamwork and creative skills, especially during our entrepreneur and marketing projects, where we work together in groups to develop a new product or service idea. We use our iPads to create presentations throughout different platforms like Kino and iMovie. We also create posters for our products on our iPads throughout platforms like Canva, Link Collage and Pages. Why is it unique? It's unique because it makes milk three different things with a switch of a blade and a punch of a bun, which also has no when you make it, it has no Throughout our strand three, students will look at our economy. They'll be able to look at different elements of economics and how scarcity of economic resources results in individuals having to make choices predict possible consequences of these choices. They'll also explain how individuals, organisations and the government work together to distribute economic resources used to produce goods and services. They will look at how supply and demand works and be able to differentiate between different sources of government revenue and expenditure. They will look, also look at taxation, economic growth and globalisation of trade. They will also look at economic and social benefits of Ireland's membership in the EU and explain the relevance of economic indicators such as inflation, employment rates, interest rates, economic growth, national income and national debt for individuals and the economy. Throughout all these three strands, students will get an insight into accountancy, business in general and economics, which will help with their decision in choosing their subjects for a leaving cert. Now I have a quick interview with a student to explain how he found strand three in junior cycle. Strand three, we did projects such as the national budget. 
This was good because we got to learn how to use Kino and got to work with the iPods. We learned where the taxpayer's money goes toward things like health, education, and businesses. Brexit and the impact it has on Ireland and the European Union.